The Evolution of Hydropower Turbines from Fish Killing to Fish Friendly by Lily Xu. Hydropower provides nearly 7% of the nation's electricity, and it holds tremendous potential for expansion. However, this promise comes with a unique challenge. How do we develop water as a renewable energy source without disrupting the ecosystem? Many hydropower projects have created serious issues for fish, such as block passages and turbine-induced death in some cases wiping out entire species at a time. Although blade slicing is the most apparent source of death, severe pressure changes are more likely to kill fish by rupturing their organs. In 1934, these problems were brought to Congress. The Fish and Wildlife Coordination Act required that potential wildlife impacts be assessed during federal dam planning. NOAA's Federal Power Act ensures continuing protection after the dam's construction. A number of strategies have been undertaken, including spillways, where fish are dumped over the sides of the dams, fish ladders, where they can climb or descend steps on a ladder, fish elevators, where they are lifted up or downwards, and once in an experiment in the Columbia Rivers, they were dropped downstream by an airplane. Unfortunately, these methods compromise a significant amount of power production up to 8.5 gigawatt hour per year and upwards of $700,000 per project. In 1995, the Electric Power Research Institute and the Alden Laboratories took fish friendly in a new direction by redesigning the actual turbine. These turbines exceeded expectations. Overall fish survival rates reached above 98%, a significant increase from the 80% survival rates from a traditional turbine. Additionally, no power efficiency was compromised. It converted 94% of the water's energy into usable electricity, even more efficient than some traditional turbines. Most of these older turbines have 5 to 18 blades, gaps in between, and are designed to be small and spin fast to extract the most energy at the lowest initial cost. However, the patented Alden turbine looks like a corkscrew and has only three blades, no gaps, and is much larger. It has a safe pressure limit and minimizes fish exposure to hydraulic shear forces. Fish can now move down a smooth channel with three blades that are turning much more slowly than traditional turbines. This success is an important step towards hydroturbine expansion and with it the growth of renewable energy production through hydroelectricity.